the next step in our pull-up progression tree is going to be an isometric hold above the bar and then slowly controlling the negative or the descent from the top to the bottom to the full range of motion. Now, a lot of people um, are carrying excess body weight that's not muscle and so it's not helping their power to weight ratio and it makes pull-ups that much more difficult. But when you spot yourself up over the bar and then you're doing the negative like we're going to do, um, excess body weight means you're doing a harder exercise than someone who has the same musculature as you but less body fat. So the reason I mention that is you're going to build strength faster because your resistance is higher. So while pulling yourself up over the bar, having excess body fat is for sure a negative. Um, when it comes to this type of movement where you're spotting yourself over and then performing a negative, per second that you're up there, you are providing a greater stimulus to the muscle. So you're going to get stronger faster. With that being said, um, you're going to spot yourself up over your bar. You're going to start in the isometric hold, which just means muscular tension, not a dynamic movement. You're just holding yourself through tension um, up over the bar. Hold yourself for as long as you can. When you feel that burn, when you feel like you can't hold it much longer, slowly descend um, through the full range of motion to a dead hang and then drop off the bar. This is going to allow you to build strength at the top of the movement to go with the strength we built at the bottom of the movement in our last video, but you're also going to be building strength throughout the dynamic portion of the negative of the exercise. So I'm gonna spot myself up here. I wish my chair was like a little bit taller because ideally I would start with my chin over the bar, um, but I'm gonna spot myself, I'm gonna pull myself over for demonstration purposes. So you wanna start here, okay? And then you wanna hold that for as long as you can and then control the negative. So when you're using your, your energy at the top to hold yourself in that isometric hold, you're going to get tired. And you may only be able to hold for one second or at this point you may not even have the strength to hold for one second. So your goal is just going to be to descend as slowly as possible. So through the negative, control the descent. Um, as you get stronger, you'll be able to one second up top, two seconds up top, and then control yourself through the descent. Uh, if you really wear yourself out at the top, the descent's not gonna be super slow and that's okay. The issue is wanting to make sure the descent is controlled. You want to have muscular tension and muscular control from the time you're leaving the top of the bar until you get to the bottom in the full range of motion. You don't want your body weight crashing down and you don't want gravity, you don't want momentum doing the eccentric portion for you. You want to be fighting gravity to the bottom. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, but this is gonna help you build strength at the top of the range of motion. And then the negative is gonna help you start building strength throughout the dynamic portion of the exercise. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the rest of the videos in the pull-up progression tree.